Hello and welcome to today's beast class. Let's begin. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Going? Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! <laughs> Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> oh gosh, all right, here we go. What's up, you Gerald? can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, oh and brushing. think pleasant thoughts. I like to uh, think it enriches his experience. Very very Tap T and then hover the beast pet and brush. Hold and drag it to your spell. Oh goodness! All right. <laughs> That's lovely. What is this? I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Oh, good. All right, let's give him some food. What do you suppose the pellets oh, taste like to Gerald? Like a, like Pudding, a I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And right cleanliness. Ambition. <laughs> good work, everyone. Now, yes, he does look let's like an make our way through the pens and select another beast. And please, uh, do be careful as them. you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting. Why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. The Neasles, you say? Oh, like, uh, like leopards. Oh, couple of Neasle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Stupid thing. Oh. It's a large cat. <laughs> what in Marlin's name are you doing? Ugh. Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. <gasps> Her name is you. Persephone. Persephone. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Well, we have like no emotion. That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. So he was trying to steal a whisker and sell it for food. Man, that is a big cat. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you she for your was. help. Per per Let's Persephone. carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Oh boy, okay. Uh, we're gonna feed and brush the measles. Um, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right, everybody's getting brushed. Let's get some food. There we go. All right. Here's some noms. There you go. <laughs> the measles really took to you. Delicious. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please wow. close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, that was very quick. where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Okay. Oh, it's the birds. The teleporting dodo birds. All right, we need to get one of those. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? Pretty simple. 
We feed them. It was wonderful. And to brush them. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. Do they have vets. Or you seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, oh, okay. which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yeah, right yes, there. Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Hmm. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. <gasps> the Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Why is that optimistic? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Yep, heard this Be before. on the lookout for my owl. Cool. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. By study, she means feed and brush. Or... I need to talk to you. Come here. <gasps> What's up, Poppy? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I what? certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch so them harm the poor thing. We're of up. a similar mind. Entirely Actually, mean in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. <sighs> I have a very good guess. You've intrigued me. Is. Very well. Unless Either it's way, her, I'd her hoped old I would. Man. If this is her grandma, I'm going to be very, very concerned. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Is well, thank you. No one else fed I and brushed an animal? As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. We do? Does she know what I'm thinking? Does she also Quite find this a bit creepy? Having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. <laughs> Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Okay. Stand back. Oh, I know exactly what this is. Oh, baby. It's those things we saw flying over us the very first day. A hippopotamus. It's majestic. Please meet High Wing. Hello, High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Absolutely. Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Okay. Good sir. How has your day been going? You're a fluffy lad. Oh, we've got a bow. Bow. Bow again. <gasps> it's a very polite hippogriff. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. Brush and you feed. You can feed a brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Seems to be hungry. High Wing is enjoying this. Oh, she's off. Like a herd of turtles. So, what did you think of High Wing? Pretty cool. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly Unlike did you parents. and Highwing cross paths? What? It's a longer story, 
But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, oh, I she fear she's agree right. With the professor. That's the poachers' influence kind of is growing. Bobby was a... I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. Teacher's They're bite. up to something. I'm just not sure what. Probably poaching. All right. Looks that like does we're gonna seem go strange. Snag ourselves some Sounds poachers. as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. And the more I know, the better I can keep high. You Great. seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. Oh, she's I should gone be alone. going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Uh, she's probably gonna send us a mail in a bit. Alright, quest complete. Beast class. Unfortunately, uh, we still don't have a beast. We do not have a beast. I don't know if that beast is something that you actually can acquire, but I figured it would be, considering there is a spot for it on the tab menu. Uh, let's see, what am I missing? Ah, uh, Confringo. Okay, let's put that back. Get ourselves situated for battle. Yes, because when I press tab, hold tab, yep, there is a, a bird spot. Actually, it looks like a hippogriff spot. And then some kind of non-hippogriff, non-flying beast. Uh, and then, of course, our broomstick. Um, which means we might actually get to fly on one of them or ride it or use it in battle or something. Uh, I have to imagine. Uh, but I do want to come back over here real quick and see if there is anything we can do with these dodo birds. Wait, what? Is this Poppy? Did she just teleport? She most certainly did. Hello? They're gone! There was like four of them right there. What? What is this? Level 2 lock. Yeah, that's something else we're going to have to earn is the level 2, right, the right to open a level 2, Rebellion. level 3 lock. But something in the future for sure. Let's see what's around here. See if there's anything hiding in the dark. Anything interesting? Nope. Alright, cool. Now, I do want to run over here real quick. Before we head to our, our other main quest, uh, which I think is to learn a new skill, um, I believe we have a quest... Wait, quest updated, Summoner's Court, match one. That's this, right? Yeah. We had what a new challenge. What are you doing challenger. out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. All right, Summoner's Leander. Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. Sure. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Uh, Alright, I gotta remember how to do this. So we pull them, we use Accio, and then we kind of drop it off. Uh, now, do I just. Need, the wrist. Do I need to just. Uh, okay, no, I actually need to press 4. I don't know if the ball can make it through this, but I would love to try, so why not give it a shot? Accio! Alright, so I've it doesn't worse. just bump into those okay. things, it, it seems to really ricochet for some reason, uh, those... Nothing to it! Alright, we are losing. Leander has got us. No, no! So what is that? What even is that on the, the court? Didn't think you were a match for me. Dear goodness! <laughs> Yeah, I think we've lost this one without a doubt. Um, but maybe there'll be another round. I don't know. Let's see. Um, I can only Accio this one. Looks like from about this angle. I'm going to bring it right at me, and I'm going to try and knock his off the court. I think that's the only chance we have, so I'm going full speed ahead here. Accio! Uh, nope. Okay. So we slowed down tremendously. That was one for the ages. We scored some points, Wait, did I win? but we gave I him a lot of points. Dagger. 
Viander Pruitt, Summoner Court winner. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Yeah, well, Care I don't to go think again? it was entirely fair that we had that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing I'm game again. for another round. Um, we just got to be Grand. a little more conservative. You could use the practice. A little more cautious. Wow, this guy is sassy. I just didn't expect these that look like wooden... Someone is cool. Uh, the ever-changing game. The wooden blocks to be squishy and uh, to almost vibrate and explode when hit like that. Like they bounce. That doesn't seem... Try to beat that. Doesn't seem legit to me. Uh, all right. Let's bring this guy back on through here. Akio. Just like before. And nice. Max points. All right. Let's get start. That was one for the ages. Akio. Now, if he hits me off, do I lose 50 points? I actually don't know. All in the wrist. If that is a part of the game or not. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one right here and just try and bring it straight, nice and easy. Oh man, I'm afraid I'm gonna hit that though. I'll curve it just a little bit. Akio! Nice, perfect. I'll let you have that one. Akio! And he's good too, all right. Uh, this one we're just gonna bring Nothing over to it. nice and easy. And just let it kind of drop right in this middle area. Sweet, that's a win, that's a dub. Yeah. Lucky shot. Woo! <laughs> tie game. Take that, Leander. At least you didn't beat me. Wait, tied game? How did we tie, what? Oh, I didn't see that he got one on the blue. <laughs> Dang. We should have bet a few galleons on uh... that round. Care to go again? That was not a dub. I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Ah oh, man, he is so sassy. Alright. I suppose he's summoner's first. court. Yep. The ever-changing game. Akio. Dang. Okay, that was a rough shot, Leander. Alright. That should help us out. Akio. Don't hit that. No! Oh, wow. Okay. That worked out in our favor. Um, Not bad. Not bad. Akio. Man. Try to beat that. All right. We're going to try to beat that by being a little risque. Akio. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Akio. I was so focused on getting it through those two guys that I completely messed that up. All, All right. in the wrist. It's not looking good for us, is it? Um, let's see. He's at 100 points. I don't think there's any way for us to win this unless we can knock one of his out, which, again, I don't think that is a thing. Uh, but I am willing to try it. Akio. points for that it, he did how'd you do uh, that i did not earn enough points to catch him Daggum. oh my goodness oh i thought this would be an easy win <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round oh my goodness care to go again i'm game for another round i'm not giving up grand you could use the practice golly he's the most sassy individual you could use summon the practice. his court the ever-changing game. Akio. Let's see, what's he going for first? Hmm, how did he turn it like that? Nothing to it. All right, let's just be smart here. Let's bring this one through first. Akio. And nice, 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 nice. Stay, stay. Perfect. That was one for the ages. Akio. Not a great shot for him, which is good. Great for us. All right, let's be nice and easy. Gonna bring this one over. And just land it in the green. I'll let you have that one. Akio. 
let's see, he's gonna run into us. Does that affect us in any way? Not Try really. to beat that. Okay, all right. We just have to land this in the green, and then we should be all right. Uh, let's go for about this. Actually, it might be a kind of a tough shot here. Akio. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Woo, we did it. No, uh, we tied him? Lucky shot. We did not well tie done. him. You beat me. Oh, no, we did. We won. Okay. Whew. About to rage quit. Awesome. 110 points gets us the win. Bit of good luck. That's all. Uh, no need to be upset. That wasn't luck. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine. You're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? What? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Wow. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Well, we kind of lost a few times there, but fair enough. I, I really dislike these things. I don't know who invented that. See, that is wood on the top. Why does it, it just, just bounce almost when hit? It shouldn't ricochet like that. It's not normal. Um, but all right, fair enough. Well played. We did it. Okay, uh, gotta calm down. Let's check our next quest. The Helm of Urtkot. I need to travel to Hogsmeade. Uh, Serona inside the three broom sticks. That sounds great. We'll learn a new skill. Complete a main quest. You know, one thing I thought we'd see a little more of, I guess just isn't we haven't run into much in the game, is, is another ogre, or a, no, a troll. I a troll? I think it was called a troll, right? Not an ogre. Um, I haven't seen any of those. Oh, it's a cow! We saw wild cows when we went really far south. Okay, uh, let's head up to the head of that. Thank you, sir. Let's head on up here. Oh, no, I'm supposed to be going this way? It says it's over there. Oh yeah, we took a long way around. Okay, here we go. Voila. Hello there. Nice to see you. Rebellion. Yes, I thought I saw something there. Got it. All right. Let's check in with the barkeep. Hello, Miss Ryan. I want to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. Uh... It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. He's we met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. You he was cordial enough, but day. we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Lodgok. He's our man, or rather our goblin. Um, Thank you, Serona. Let's go find If him. you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. You got it. All right. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please watch your back. Spooky. All right. Uh, looks like Lord Gog is right over that way. Uh, a short little flight. Okay, not a flight. A short little run slash walk away. 
Oh, we gotta, we gotta go this way. All right. I love that skill. All right. Uh, you too. Oh, he's in the building. He is in the building. They did me a trick. All right. Let's head in. Welcome to the Ogs Head. Uh, the seat is yours. <gasps> there he is. Does somebody know that this is leaking? Nope. What do we have here? Can't be We're ready. ready. Um, kind of crowded in here for us, but uh, oh, what's this guy doing? Uh, I'm just gonna search this chest. Don't mind me. <gasps> Look who it is. It's one of these guys. All right, we need to remember that there's one of those little guys in this smaller pub tavern in Hogsmeade. Come grab him at, at night. Oh my gosh, that's a moving hog. That is Rebellion. so freaky. Mounted hog's head. The mounted hog's rolled his eyes and snuffed his nose at overseas seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the hog's head. That is a ginormous hog. Good grief. All right, Can here's I our friend, Lord Gok. Lord Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am, and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Uh, Sorona trusts me. Yeah, that's probably Sorona best trusts bet. me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Um, that sounds like a Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Uh, meet Lodgog near the witch's tomb, and also he said to bring supplies. Um, as far as supplies go, we've got seven health potions. That's got to be enough for a full mission. We've yet to, uh, to actually make any of those or buy any of those because the game has just given them to us, which is quite nice. Uh, let's snag an apple for the road and drop a few more on the ground that are just really rolling far away. And then suddenly disappear. The case of the missing apples. Um, all right. Got to stay focused. So we're going to head up there. 100%. Can I use my broomstick? Nope, still not. Alright, jumping in. Oh, hey, this is the place we went to earlier. I'm ready. And we couldn't get in. Good. There's no time to lose. Alright, I got a few spells. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? Yeah, this is a valuable this heirloom good. known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard sound... kind see things differently. Cool. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. Hmm. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. All right, good, good guy, Lodgok. I really do hope we get to see a Quidditch match. 
And we're really taking this slow. Oh, we can run. Okay. <laughs> I never know. Uh, uh, I never. I never realize that the my quest partner, the NPC that's with me, will match my speed. I tend to forget about that. Yes. So this is the tomb we ran into earlier, but couldn't get in. Uh, I guess this makes sense. Part of a quest. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? Another adventure, are we? I wish you luck Whoops. retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any He's questions? He's not coming with us? Man, I already knew this was here. Um, okay, why is the helmet valuable? Do you need ran rock? Why is working with Rookwood? Yep, nope, let's it just go for it. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Preach. All right. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. You know, maybe this guy is being too nice. Maybe this is a, uh, a trap. But I guess we'll find out soon, eh? Uh, we've got seven health potions. I haven't fought in a while. The fighting has just not been consistent enough for me to get good at it. Um, Rebellion. So we are going to do our best. And be a little sneaky. Revelio. As well. There wouldn't be goblins down here, would there? I mean, I guess if it was a trap, maybe? Revelio. Ooh, look at this. It's sealed. It is sealed. Uh. What is this? Got it. Um. So there are two butterflies, but there we are missing a butterfly. Uh, let me guess. Yep, there's our butterfly. Moth. Curious. Oh, a moth. Sorry. Um, okay, so what I'm going to have to do 100%, just have to find the skill again, is this one. I guarantee it. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Nope. Nope. Also. Nope. Nope. Oh, the light. I'm a dummy, of course. All right, let me put the ice one back. Uh, it's a moth. Moths are attracted Lumos. to light. Very nice. All right, let's carry him over. Come on, buddy. In you go. Wait, what? I've got another one on me now? I am uh, confused. All right, that worked. It didn't for a second there. I don't know why, but we're in. Let's be sneaky. Hello? Merlin's beard. Merlin's beard. Revelio. A lot going on down here. All right. Let's see. First we have a... Just exploded for no reason. All right, um, cool. That looks like it should be something. Hmm, let's keep going. Hello? Is anybody here? Oh, boy. All right. 100%. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely, I need to go further. Wait, why can't this be the witch's tomb? It's a tomb, right? Do witches not have tombs that look like this? Uh-oh. What's trying to break in here? Uh... Akio! Hello? Weird. Okay. So I guess we are literally not fighting anything. We are just... Let me go ahead and grab uh, Lumos again. Piece Lumos. of this thing together. All right. Come on, moth. In you go. Cool. There's one. Wait, there's only two of them. But I need three, right? Yeah, I definitely need three. Ah, the yeah. original. The OG. I 
I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Ah, uh, okay, there's our foreshadowing. He's telling me we are about to encounter some enemies. Oh my goodness. That is horrifying. It's a nefarious, I mean, an infurious. Alright, these things need fire. You have to hit them with fire. Good break them. Before they can die. Expelliarmus. Defend them. Does that count as fire? No. Good break them. Nefarious, whatever these guys are called, they have to be on fire before you can do any damage to them, which makes them a little tricky because I don't actually have any other. Like these two spells are red, but I don't think they're actually uh, fire based spells, unfortunately. Let me see. Expelliarmus, let's see, I've got Incendio. Oh, you know what? I'm a dummy. So I do have this fire base spell, um, but I've got another one, uh, the one that's close up. I should probably add that here. Okay, so now when I go back and forth on my spells, I've got two different spells that can deal fire damage, which should help me out a lot with those guys in the future. Luckily, we did some good dodge and we kept moving, uh, so we didn't take too much damage. Oh, made it to another one of these rooms. Okay. Uh, and apparently, even though I was hidden, Lumos. I think they could still see me. So uh, I don't think I should worry about hiding or being stealthy. There's another one. Mm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. This? This could be rotated? Oh, there he is. Can I pull that all the way through? Hmm. Um, Alright, so this needs to be rotated was the hint that he gave us. This has a moth imprinted on it. The same as the door. Our issue is getting through here, really. Which I suppose isn't just going to break down. Hmm. Hmm. Incendio! Good break up! Hmm. Just gonna make that switch for later. Uh, let's see, do I have any other spells that are kind of. Let's see. Oh, Descendo. I wonder if I can... I don't know, get the door to go down? That's That seems kind of silly now that I'm saying Descendo! Yep, no. Is this no. Um... Descendo! Hmm. Lumos. I see. This is supposed to spin. But how? Oh, right. Right, right, right. I need to take this moth. These moths. I need to put in... I cannot believe that took me so long. I need to put them here. Okay, now that's not going to spin enough, is it yet? Or maybe it is? Nope, okay, it's not going to spin yet. Uh, I need to grab the other one. Lumos. Dear goodness, I can... <laughs> Sometimes these things are easy, and sometimes they're hard. You know, that's life, man. All right. Um, and now it's got both butterflies in it, so it should spin somehow, right? 
Oh, no, sorry, go back, go back. Okay. Uh... Um, can I just walk into it? Alright, I am again confused. Um... I don't know, what spell would I need? To cause something to... Ah, there we go, it's Depulso. That was the one. Alright. And we're in. Cool. Lumos. Grab the last one and we'll be on our way. Thank you very much, Sir Mothy. Alright. I am gonna throw this spell back on here. I really need to get more spell sets, right, so that I can have like a whole utility bar, you know? So I don't have to keep trying them out when I'm in a place like this. That might be something I spend my hard-earned talent points on soon. All What's right. that hanging there? Looks precarious. That is a great point. Down I go. No other way. Ha! <laughs> Alright. See what's in here. Rebellion! Ah, uh, it's one of these that I can sort of move around. I don't see the usefulness in that though. Accio. Maybe I should drop it down there. Hmm. That seems odd. So I can see that there is. Oh, what's this? Nothing. Nothing at all. I can see that there's something up here. Right? Rebellion. Up there. Um, and so I'm thinking, oh, I gotta use this to get up here. Oh, that's literally it. Okay. I did not think I was gonna be able to make that jump. That's wonderful. Um, okay, so what we do need to is... Oh, wow. Okay, I did not mean to do that. Um... Let's leave it there. There we go. Up and up. Snag the chest. Wonderful, a decoration. All right. Um, how did I just use Wingardium Leviosa without meaning to at all? Let me check out these essentials, because there's a chance. Huh. I don't know how I just use Wingardium Leviosa when it's not even a skill that I have set on here. Weird. All right, here we go. Here we go. And here we go. Oh! Yeah. All right. Check this way first. Interesting. Wait, what? Oh, this is just a way back up. Okay, so that is not the way to go. Instead, we should go this way. Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be a fight. Complete the battle in two minutes. It's sending. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Alright, alright, I got it. I got it. 
Safe side here. Couldn't bring that. I did not expect there to be a whole lot more. Akio. Get your side. Incendio. Hendo. Couldn't bring that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, there's dueling feats here that I did not do any of. Uh, complete the battle within two minutes. We were close, uh, went all the way there, and the last one was to slice a frozen enemy, and I'm not sure what that means. So, woo! And that was a long fight. All right. Got to re reorient. Uh, let's see, we got another one of these butterfly spinners, uh, and a few butterflies around. Let's see what we those. Lumos. Already has two. Lovely. Okay. All right. That's good to go. Uh, oh, but for only a time. And then this one also spins up. I'm wondering if I need to place the third butterfly there. I don't know why. Lumos. I would, but uh, let's just try it out. Let's see. If I put you here. Yep. Okay. You stay there. I don't know why that, but that feels like a good idea. And... Oh, I'm tripping. Come on. No, 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 no. All right, we, we lost it. All right. Uh, one more time. Oh, well, where are you? Okay, I'm a little confused as to why I'm not climbing that. Uh, usually the character just auto climbs. But, uh. This looks even more complex. This is, uh, this is not going well. This is weird. This should be very easy to do. Right? He should be... What is happening right now? Hold on. Repulsa! Replace it! Okay, that didn't seem to work either. I... am... so confused. That's surely what I'm supposed to be doing, right? This is another bug. This could be another bug where it's not letting me climb because I'm on a moving object. Uh-oh. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. Oh, my gosh. That must be it. Yes, that is it. What does not it is how I... How I bend it up here. Do I need to hit it again? Okay, I see how that's kind of fair, but also, I don't know. We should easily be able to climb that without needing to do that, so that's not just something I I would think to do. All right, let's see if I can bring this guy Lumos. up from there. Nope. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got a door with three of them. Here's one. 
get him situated. The other one appears to be on the other side. But of course we can't can't manage that. So get this thing going. Alright. Lumos. Try and run across. Easily done. Alright, lock him into place. Let's go get the third moth, which is down on the ground. This little guy over here. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this, am I? That's the trick, isn't it? The pulsar. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, that is the trick. We did have it sorted out. We just didn't see it through all the way. So we gotta bring this guy over here, and then we've gotta depulse it from up there, and then grab him. Very tricky. Very tricky. Alright. Stop. Lumos. Yes. Got him. All right. In the hill. Let's have at it. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Let me see what's over there. Accio. What else? Instead of this ice thing, I guess the ice thing's not bad to have. Wonder if this does more damage. Eh. Hello? Oh wow! The dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord Gok won't like this. Better show this to Lord Gok. Dead Ashwinder. What does this mean? What's an Ashwinder? There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Um, alright, before we leave through the doorway... Rebellion. Let's see what else is down here. Unidentified back item. Oh, some fancy underwear. Let's grab what we can. All right, I think that must be it. Let's roll. So it looks like he was attacked by a couple of these skeleton guys. I don't know. Interesting. Nifty. What do you think, Lord Gok? Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in yeah, alone. As always. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. Okay. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. All right, we are going to fly there. Let me Nope. Because that just feels like the smarter thing to do. So here we go, back into the Forbidden Forest. Uh, what's happening right now? Hearing. What is happening right now? Are they attacking me or somebody else? 
I don't see him anymore. All right. Let's head over here. Oh. There they are. The ash warriors. What are they attacking? Incendio! All right, let's grab uh, this. Let's see. Uh, I don't care to use Incendio. We're going to replace that. Replace that. Expelliarmus will be useful here. That all looks good to me. Incendio! <laughs> Rookwoods don't go down easy. Expulso! Attacking. Seriously, uh, what is going on here? This has made a great troll retreat. Retreat. Uh, oh, looks like this guys are retreating. Right. That's hilarious. They all just died. All right, here we go, buddy. Welcome to Pain Town. Finish the job. Flash of inspiration. Oh. No! Okay, so he's using a lightning spell of some kind. I think we ought to use our potion. And I'll do the best here. Trick will be a boy again. Alright, got a bunch of torture trackers in here. Who are attacking me now. I need them to go after the troll. Expelliarmus! Okay, he's going to be a defense. This is wonderful. Focus expulsion. Oh, this is great. Focus on. Expelliarmus. Defender. Shoot them right now. Oh, shoot. Oh. All right, Forest Troll is uh, the highest level. Uh, Expelliarmus. Kind of you've seen around. And he is angry that he can't get past that tree. Alright. Fair enough. Hello? Confringo! Expel the office! One last foul hulking brute. Man, that is, that is a huge troll. Jump some wood. For the good of the people. Wow. Okay, so I really dove into that battle way too soon. I thought the Ashwinders were, uh... Ooh, Manipulation 3. I think that's a... Collection of some kind. Alright, so recover the helmet from the thieves. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Rebellion. Hmm. I suppose they would probably keep it inside. Oh, it's fish. What are the fish doing here? What the heck? Akio. These guys need some help. Let me know. Uh, alright. We gotta save some fish. Let's see. Wingardium Leviosa! Nope. Doesn't look like that's Leviosa! 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 Alright, alright, alright. That'll do it. And then push it. Pulsa! Nope. Pulsa! Yes. Yes. Oh, this fish is a very, uh... Okay, nope. Doesn't look like they can actually go through that gap in the woods, so we, uh, we just got three flopping fish. Just hanging out, having a good time. That's interesting. Now that lightning spell uh, that somebody used, dear goodness, that was some strong magic. Though. That's a very cool. They're just still here flopping about. Alright, I don't know what to do about the fish. 
Oh wow. That's it. Got it. Uh -oh. Oh. This is for Rookwood. Oh, oh try not to make this too easy for We've me. Got an assassin. Also. That didn't work. Uh -huh. Oh, why was my the buddy just not working? You will pay. Alright, one more guy. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Shame and we just that. sent him into the woods. And uh, just some flopping fish. Alright. Uh, nothing to loot? Nope. We can wield potion. Thank you. That is very helpful. Let's go talk to our goblin friend, see what he thinks. Looks rather dark in there. Oh, I don't Never know how to get down. Me before. Oh, there we go. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Rodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. Ooh. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will mm. not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Mm -mm -mm. Sneaky man. All right, fair enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for now. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace.